Welcome back students, are you still taking the course engineering graphics supplementary examination? Are you tensed in how to clear the course computer aided engineering graphics for R22 regulation? In this video, I am going to let you know for R18 regulation as well as R22 regulation certain tips on how to clear the course engineering graphics as well as the computer aided engineering graphics for R18 as well as R22 regulation students. Do not forget to listen the complete video. Do not skip this. I am going to give few interesting tips and how to clear the course in the first attempt. This is your Chandrasekhar Utukuri. I am going to give you certain highlighted points dear students. Do not forget to carry all your instruments to the examination hall as you are going to prepare for your examination I am going to let you know now which units you are supposed to prepare each and every individual who are maybe the R18 or R22 regulation you are supposed to prepare the unit 1 for sure a compulsory damn sure question I can give you is the scales that may be a plain scale or the diagonal scale make sure that this is one of the highlighted and gunshot question both in R18, R16 as well as R22 regulation a scale is a gunshot question you are supposed to work out all the calculation in the booklet provided for you. I have done a video on the QP pattern as well as the drawing sheet which is being provided for you by the University of JNTUH. Please go through it. A link is being attached through under this video. And I am going to let you know from the unit 2 you are going to get topmost question is that line inclined to both HP and VP. It doesn't mean that only the scale is asked in the unit 1 dear students. Even the conic section and the cycloidal curve combination will be asked for sure. You are supposed to work out all the eccentricity methods for an ellipse parabola as well as hyperbola and all the three types of cycloidal curves that is a general cycloid, epicycloid as well as hypocycloid. Do not expect direct theory question. I mean do not expect the direct question. It is an application oriented one dear students. Make sure to understand the concepts in engineering graphics. Do not try to mug up the things and when you are practicing please do practice as per the step by step instructions by using the tools when you are going before to take the exam do not just watch the videos or do not just go through the textbook or all in one you are supposed to furnish all the details while preparing with the instruments so that you could utilize three hours of time hope you are following all the points coming to the second unit your the gunshot question is all about the line inclined to both hp and vp is a topmost and gunshot question i mean the theta and pi values will be given sometimes and theta and pi values will be missing and sometimes the front views and the top views of the lines will be given there are four to five methods you are supposed to work out by practicing this you could able to work out in the coming examination for sure and you are going to get out of out mark if you are using a pencils which pencil to be used where i have done various videos on usage of pencil and the important questions and the concept wise unit lectures which are being uploaded in my playlist please go through my channel and go through the playlist there you will be having unit wise the lectures along with the instruments i have drawn for you please do work out accordingly and the other question may be the topmost from that is a plane inclined to both HP and VPDS students. We can expect pentagon or hexagon only for this time and do not expect the rectangle or a square. You will be getting pentagonal plane as well as the hexagonal plane. A student from the unit 2, you need to have a principles. I need to, I, to tell you the orthographic principles as well as the first angle as well as third angle projection method failing which you cannot proceed from the second unit dear student. Do not jump directly into the fourth unit or do not jump directly into the third unit. You will be failing in the course engineering graphics. You, if you don't have minimum fundamentals in the unit 2, please make sure to work out unit 2 as well as unit 1. Later, I let you know to work out the unit 5 dear students. The fifth unit question number is 9 as well as 10 in the question paper this time. I have uploaded a QP pattern for engineering graphics, for R18 regulation as well as R22 regulation, computer rated engineering graphics. Please go through my channel and work out what is the pattern of the question paper and the weightage of marks. Next jump into fifth unit, both the regulation students. The one question damn sure question is that the conversion of 3D to 2D is said to be a pakka damn sure question for a direct single question dear students. From unit 1 and unit 2 you may get the sub questions but whereas from the unit 5 you will be getting only direct one question for R18 15 marks question 
for R22 12 mark question. Please try to work out oh, even those, those lecture videos were also uploaded in my channel. A student who is feeling difficulty in clearing this subject need to work out 3D to 2D conversions more in number or sometimes they may be asking 2D to 3D conversions also dear students. You please prepare unit 1, unit 2 as well as unit 5. By following my instruction and steps you are going to work out the course engineering graphics which is the scoring subject and student who want to score a better mark need to study even the unit 3 as well as unit 4. Unit 3 and unit 4 are related to only solids dear students. Solid inclined to both the plane is a gunshot and top question where they may be asking you the prisms, pyramids or the solids of revolution. Those videos are also uploaded in my channel. And the next unit is all about the sections of solids as well as the next question is sections of solids as well as development of solid surfaces. You cannot draw the unit 4 answer without knowing unit 3. That's the reason I am letting you know to work out first the unit 1, unit 2 as well as unit 5. If you are very much interested, you can go with unit 3 as well as unit 4 also dear students who are looking to score out of out mark without proper usage of pencils, without proper usage of the lines, which line to be drawn where and the without usage of proper dimensioning and if you are going to work out with the bad lettering that spoils the good drawings bad lettering spoils the good drawings in engineering graphics and you are going to work out only in pencil all the diagrams and do not write anything in the book i mean the drawing sheet you need to do all the calculations in the booklet itself i have uploaded a video on engineering graphics drawing sheet as well as the booklet provider for you for the course engineering graphics as well as computer aided engineering graphics hope you are going to follow my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it immediately by pressing a bell icon you are going to receive the latest notifications on all the concepts which i am going to let you know there are several videos of engineering graphics please go through it and do practice is in a given stipulated time and the timing for this course is three hours and you are supposed to carry all your tools to the examination hall do not forget to carry even the calculator also to this course as you are going to get a cycloidal curve you are supposed to work out the theta value that is small r by capital r into 360 degree and you need to calculate even for the scales the length of the scale hope you are going to like subscribe as well as share this content this is your chandra shekhar Uttakuri signing off for today if you are looking for any other course content please do comment in the comment section thank you and good luck dear students